Hey, welcome to the Terry White Tech Blog. Today we're going to take a look at a Siri shortcut, which is basically like a little macro, a little series of steps that you can run by giving one command to Siri to do a series of steps. And with all that's going on in the world today, there's a great uh, shortcut created by Robert Peterson that it enables you to do a series of things if you're ever getting pulled over or confronted by the police. So you can say, hey, her name, and then uh, getting pulled over and it will automatically send your current location to a predefined contact. It'll automatically turn down your music and turn off things, uh, turn down your screen brightness and start your front facing camera recording. And then once that recording, once you stop that recording, it'll give you, it'll automatically send that to that predefined contact or a different predefined contact, as well as upload that video to your cloud service of choice, whether that be iCloud or Dropbox or both. Uh, so it's a great um, it's a great shortcut to have installed just in those situations. Uh, so you would just, you know, you're getting pulled over, you see the lights, unlock your phone, you would say, hey, her name, and then you would say getting pulled over and the rest will start automatically. So I'm going to walk you through how to set this up. So first and foremost, it's iPhone only. So you need an iPhone. And if you're on one of the later OS's, I'm on iOS 13 dot something, uh, the Shortcuts app is already installed. Uh, but you still need to A, get this particular shortcut, and B, you need to set it up. So first and foremost, in order to set this particular shortcut up, um, you would go to your settings, your system settings, and uh, I'll start at the top here. You would scroll all the way down to you see shortcuts. So there it is near the bottom there. So I'm going to tap on shortcuts and you would want to tap on allow untrusted shortcuts. And mine is grayed out, which some of yours might be grayed out too, if you've never run a shortcut on your phone before. So if yours is grayed out, which I'm glad mine is because I would be getting comments. Hey, mine's grayed out. How do I ungray it? Uh, so I can show you that process right now. So we're going to get out of this just for now because we can't turn it on. We're going to go find shortcuts. There it is. And in order to turn that feature on, you have to run at least one shortcut that is uh, trusted, that is by, you know, by a trusted source. So for example, I could run the shortcut, um, which by the way, I see the one here that I'm, I'm getting pulled over. We're, we're going to go ahead and delete that one because we're going to reinstall it from scratch anyway. So let's delete that one, get it out of the way. And let's say that I run a shortcut. I don't know. Um, you can go find one. I'm just trying to find one here that doesn't do it, doesn't do a bunch of stuff. So make a GIF. All right. So uh, I can go ahead and just um, start the recording or start the whatever. And there we go. It's done it. And I can say, um, I don't know how this particular one works. There we go. Done. It's making the GIF. All right. So now that I've run a shortcut one time, I'm going to say done. Um, and cancel. I don't want to send that out. So now that I've run that shortcut at least one time, and it doesn't matter which shortcut you run, it just has to be one. And you can, if you don't have any shortcuts, you can go tap the plus sign in the upper right hand corner and go find one. But just run any shortcut once. Once you've done that, then you can go back to your settings, go back to shortcuts, and now you can turn on allow untrusted shortcuts. So it's just giving me the warning, hey, you're about to maybe install shortcuts that weren't, you know, pre-approved by Apple, and that's fine. This one works great. And it's even going to ask for my passcode uh, while I do this. And I put in my passcode, and now I've, I've basically turned that on. Okay, so now that's step one. Basically turning on allow untrusted shortcuts. Next, step two, go to your Safari browser. And in your Safari browser, I'm going to give you the URL to go download this shortcut in the, um, in the uh, description of this video. So if you're watching this on YouTube, just go to the description and you'll get the link to download this. Or you just simply Google, I'm getting pulled over Siri shortcut. All right, so I, I've already put that URL in. It took me to the page. I'm going to go ahead and say, get the shortcut. So now it's installing the shortcut in my shortcuts app. Okay, so it's it's added. It's about to add the shortcut. So it's showing me all the things the shortcut will do. Don't worry about setting any of this up yet. You're going to scroll all the way down and just simply tap on Add Untrusted Shortcut. 
Now that you've done that, now you go through the process of configuring the shortcut, basically setting up who those recipients are going to be that receive your text message, who the recipient's going to be that receives your, your uh, messages, uh, I'm sorry, your video, um, and uh, which you know service you're going to upload the video to once it's done. So that's the process that we're about to do now. So pick your recipient, uh, pick your loved one, pick who you would want to know that you're being pulled over. Uh, here, I'm just going to go, actually, I'm just going to go ahead and add it from my contacts there. You can do a search. All right, so I've added, added the contact I want to receive that. Uh, configure uh, who you would like to receive a copy of the video. They don't have to be the same person. They could be two different people. Uh, or they can, of course, be the same person. So I'm going to go find that same contact to receive the video. Great. All right. And now it's basically saying that the shortcut is done and ready to go. But you're not quite there yet. Because of the way iOS works with permissions, you still need to go back to the shortcut and allow it to record, allow it to save, allow it to send a message. So let's go back to my shortcuts. And now at the very bottom, if you don't have more than one, uh, it'll either be the only one or the second one since you had to install one to run it the first time. Uh, I'm going to tap on the getting pulled over. All right, so now it's asking me for all those things. Do I want to allow, per, uh, allow the system to give my location? Yes, I do. Um, and it'll basically ask for any other, any other uh, preferences that it needs or any other uh, security settings that it needs. Okay, uh, I'm getting pulled over. Do I want to allow it to be able to send a message? Yes, I do. Do I want it to allow it to be able to use my camera? Yes, I do. And so it's recording now. And again, this would be recording sitting mounted wherever your phone is in the car. And we're just going to go ahead and stop it. And I'm going to say, yes, use that video. And it says it would like to uh, have access to my photos to store the video. So again, this is all a one time thing. Once you give it all these, once you give it all this access, uh, you don't have to worry about giving it access again. So now it's asking, where do I want to upload the video? So I'll say upload it to my Dropbox. And so it's uploading it to my Dropbox app, which I would need to sign in. Giving it permission to use Dropbox, and now it's done. So now, all the setup is done at this point. Now you don't have to be in the Shortcuts app anymore. You don't have to worry about configuring and giving it permission anymore. All you would have to do is say, hey, her name, and then I'm getting pulled over, and it will do all of those things. Send your current location to that contact automatically. Um, uh, turn down your brightness, turn down your volume, start the front facing camera all automatically and start recording all automatically. So you don't have to do any other steps other than say, hey, her name, you know, Siri, that, that woman, and then uh, I'm getting pulled over. That's it. So it just works great. So I'm going to mute out the, the hey, her name part just so you can see how it works. Getting pulled over. All right, so I said it. It's, she said I'm on it. So she's doing all those things, sending the uh, location info, uh, composing the text messages, and now running the shortcut. So now it's doing that recording where my camera, my phone would just be off to the side while I'm getting pulled over. And then once that interaction is over, hopefully peacefully, uh, then I would just stop the recording and uh, use that video. So once I use that video, the shortcut then continues to send it via iMessage, which I just told it to do. And then last but not least, it will upload it to my my service of choice, whether that be iCloud or, Dropload or Dropbox, or just simply don't upload it. So I like to have that cloud backup. So again, I'll choose Dropbox. Yes, give it permission. Uh, tell it where to put it. Just save it on my main Dropbox is fine for now. And um, so now it's doing the upload to save it to Dropbox as well. So keep in mind, it already forwarded it as a text message to whoever you, whoever you predefined. And it's also um, saving it to your, to your camera roll. So you still have it. But this is just in case this last step of uploading it to a cloud service is just in case something happened to your phone and that, you know, after that interaction, you would have a record of it that's not on your person. 
so it's in the cloud or being uploaded um, hopefully because again hopefully that interaction ended peacefully but if it didn't you have a record of it in multiple places now so with that said cheers everyone stay safe out there hopefully you will never have to use this but if you do it's great knowing that you have it and just remember in order to, for this to work completely, the first thing you need to do is unlock your phone. So whether it's face ID or, or code, put that in first and then say, hey, her name, and then getting pulled over and they will take care of the rest. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye.